Hey, guys. Um, first, um, thank you. As always, appreciate you being on today on this Saturday. Um, do want to, you know, send my condolences to High Barry, one of the players from Northwestern's father passed away. Um, really sad, and want to let him know that we're thinking about him and our prayers are with with him and his family. Um, tough, um, and I also love Coach Collins. Does an unbelievable job and well coached. And tough and now they have to deal with that amongst COVID and all these other things so much respect to Northwestern I thought again it was a really good basketball game today I thought Northwestern played really well um, I thought our defense was was really really good I think that was their season low in points and uh, they're a good offensive team I love the fact that we out rebounded them and we got contributions from everybody I loved our bench they gave us great energy and um uh, Love the fact that everyone chipped in here. It was important. You know, every game in this league is a war, and that was no different. And, uh, you know, just glad they earned a day off, a more well-earned day off, and we kind of grinded the game. And, and, and I always love when we win, when we, we have to grind it. We'll start off with questions from Jerry, and then just a reminder to use the raise tool, your hand tool. If you have a question, let me know. Steve, you, you, you love these types of games, like you mentioned. What, what did you like most about your team's defense? You, know, you had eight blocks. You held them to 32% shooting. What, what particular, in particular stood out to you about the Yeah, well, effort? I mean, after the uh, initial, uh, they jumped on us quickly there. I thought we really settled down and, you know, made st stuff difficult. I thought, obviously, we got to the free throw line more than they did. I thought that was a huge, um, you know, huge key for us and, and – I love the way you know we can mix up our defenses. I love how we're connected on that end of the floor. Uh, again, you know they have some really good offensive players. Um, they have six ten, six eleven guys that can really shoot the ball. They have a good post player, and Ryan Young causes problems. And Chase really good, and Boo, their two guards are really athletic. Um, so they have a lot of weapons on that team. But I thought we were locked in with only two days to prepare. I thought we were locked in and. Um, you know, to hold them to a season low is, is, is a really good sign for us moving forward. And I love the fact that we, we were connected in the rebounding area. Caleb got a seven and, and Miles and keep saying this when Ron rebounds and gets to the free throw line, good things happen for us. And he did both of those things today. We'll go next to Bobby Darren and then Brian Fontaine. Steve, you mentioned Ron. Can you just talk about him? Seemed like he started to find a little more rhythm there on the offensive end. Yeah, I mean, Ron. Ron's having a great year. I um, mean, uh, uh, he really is. And, and uh, you know, he, he's shooting almost 50% from the field. Um, he's raised his points per game, his rebounds from last year. I mean, he's he really is. And his defense getting better and better. And to defend tonight, all the different guys he had to defend um, and did it without fouling. You know, Ron also has been a great assist guy for us, too. So everyone. You know, I honestly don't talk to him a lot about the ball going in or not because I think that's like the least, um, uh, you, know, you know, of the things that he can do for us. He does assist. He can rebound. He blocks shots. Uh, you know, he guards people. Um, you know, so I think he's having like a really good season. And I know everyone will look at if the ball goes in or not, but that's a small percentage of what he brings to our team. And today, you know, you saw the rebounds and you saw the free throws and, um, you know, he was making some shots. But, you know, he's been doing a lot of good things for us during this streak here and, um, you know, just just real pleased. Steve, Paul played with a, a broken nose. He had the mask on. What does it say about him that he's willing to play through something like that? And was there ever any doubt during the week that he'd be able to go or was it always – a for sure thing he played. Well, I mean, it was Paul's decision, obviously. But, you know, Paul, you know, he's been playing with a, uh, a finger that, that was dislocated. He's got a broken nose. I mean, he's tough as could be. And, you know, he was he was ready to go t today. So, uh, you know, he does a lot of things for us, um, a lot of things that you don't read in the box score. And, um, you know, he's one of the toughest guys I've ever coached. So was thankful that he – said I'm playing, you know, and, uh, you know, but that's just a credit to him and, and, and his toughness and to play through pain. And, you know, he gets banged up in every single game. So, um, you know, he deserves a, a, a day off tomorrow when, 
you know, for playing for the first time with that mask on, I thought he did a really, really good job. So uh, we'll get a custom made mask for him. So that'll help him out a little bit more too. But, you know, he's tough. He's tough and, um, you know, thankful he, he was ready today to go. Go to Aaron and then to Richie. Coach, uh, midway through the second half there, Northwestern was cutting the lead down, and uh, Caleb McConnell stepped up at the back-to-back three. Just talk about his uh, mental toughness and ability to, yeah. to deliver. Yeah. Big. yeah, thanks for turning that up, too. Cause I, um, you asked about Caleb McConnell? McConnell. Is that? No. Just the two big plays the game. Big the game. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the one thing you, know, one about thing Caleb, you know about Caleb, Caleb does a lot of – a lot of things for us, and, and he's really uh, become like a an anchor for our defense. He guards a lot of different people, and he's capable of making shots. He's a really good foul shooter too, and I think you saw down the stretch he just teed the ball up, and I like when he plays with that kind of confidence. He also keeps a lot of balls alive for us. He, you know, he does a lot of different things that too you don't see in the box score sometimes. So. Um, he's getting better and better. He's feeling more and more comfortable. Um, and I love the fact that we can move him around. And he's become, you know, I think Jacob Young defensively is, you know, a really good defender. Um, Caleb McConnell and obviously you guys, Miles Johnson, to go along with our other guys too. But um, they have to guard a lot of different people. And they have to guard, you know, some real dangerous, you know, players. So Caleb's been doing a good job, and and um, and he's also rebounded for us. Last game he got seven, and this game he got seven too, and that's a huge part of of us being able to out rebound teams. Hey Steve, it's pretty it's pretty well known that uh, your daughter plays for Northwestern now, beating them twice on the season. Are you kind of like a little shove it in her face kind of moment, or no? I mean Northwestern um, was a great place, and um, they've been great to my daughter. I'm thankful. Um, but great coaches there. I have tremendous respect for Northwestern. Just, you know, happy we got the win today. But that's a really good basketball team. Coach Collins is one of the best people and coaches around. Um, and that's a real dangerous basketball team. So, um, you know, just just thankful that we, we were a little bit better today. Uh, but know that they're going to have some good days, too, coming up here. And you know, always rooting, rooting for Northwestern. Go to Jerry and then Bobby. Steve, Gio, uh, Gio. Gio moved into the top uh, 10 in, in, in steals in program history. He's now in the top 10 in three categories. How about uh, I know we'll have more time to talk about this later, of course. But right now, what, what can you say about the legacy he's leaving here on the banks? Well, you, you know, I can't say enough about Gio. And, and you know, even tonight, um, his leadership was awesome. He was engaged in the game. You know, they didn't make it easy on him. They did a really good job, uh, but he just stayed the course. And, um, you know, he's just been, you know, as are all the players, but Gio's now in year four, um, you know, has helped, you know, elevate this program in so many ways. And on top of that, you know, too, he's a Dean's List student. So, um, you know, we ask a lot of him um, and he, he delivers. And I'm thankful he's healthy. Um, Thankful all our guys, you know, are back and in, in, in feeling good about their bodies. Um, but Gio's, you know, been very important, important guy for us. And tonight he really defended too. So sometimes you get overlooked when he doesn't score the points that you're kind of used to. But I thought he was, you know, he had to guard cop and some guys that come off a lot of screens. He did a really good job, you know, in those areas. So just very thankful. And I didn't know he was in the, you know, moved into those kind of places. I, I know Gio just likes to win. And I, I love that category. And since he's been here, we've won a lot, a lot of basketball games, and uh, hopefully, we have a lot of more, a lot more left in us. Thank you. Make this the last question coming from Bobby. Steve, I know you have some time to prepare, but just talk about the challenge of playing Michigan next. Yeah, I mean, well, it's another game. You know, we've never beaten Michigan, so um, I think they're picked in the top five in the country right now. Um, you know, I think we have the fifth toughest schedule. I think that's where we're rated right now. So the schedule just continues, you know, to get difficult, more and more difficult in this league. Uh, but they're really good. You know, they're playing as good a basketball as, as any team in the country. Very talented. Juwan Howard does a great job. Um, so just another huge challenge, a couple days to prepare. And, and uh, we'll enjoy today for five minutes, and then we'll, we'll be on to that next hurdle, uh, which is called the Big Ten schedule.
Thanks, Coach. We'll catch up with you next week. I, the one thing I just want to say, too, is I want to just a special shout-out to our, our testing people. Biodesic does an unbelievable job. Um, every day they're the happiest people I know, keeping us healthy. And, you know, um, they've done an unbelievable job this year. So I'm really, you know, thankful uh, for all the p great people that, that work there and that help us get through the season. And then I want to wish everybody a happy Valentine's Day. So you guys have a great day. Thanks.